dearly beloved. We are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Kate Middleton recently spent approximately two weeks in the hospital, undergoing what Kensington Palace described as planned abdominal surgery. Upon her release, the palace announced her return home, stating that she was making good progress in her recovery. Prince William and Kate expressed gratitude towards the medical team at London Clinic and thanked well-wishers from around the world for their support. However, the lack of specific details about Kate's medical condition has sparked curiosity among the public. Some have even speculated that the princess is being poisoned a claim which piqued my own interest, especially in light of Prince William's recent, alleged, infidelity, and my own prophecy that before he is crowned king in just a few years, he will kick sweet Kate to the curb. So what's really going on with Princess Kate's health? Is it serious? And what's really going on in Kate's mind? Let's find out. But first, I want to thank all of my new subscribers and all of you who are leaving some really thought-provoking comments below. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! I'm a psychic, not a doctor, and I'm not providing any kind of medical advice to anyone. With that being said, I can use my remote viewing abilities to look at what I think is going on with Princess Kate and what she was treated for. We know that she's publicly stated that she went into the hospital for a stomach operation and was out in just a couple of weeks. She's apparently healing nicely, so we have a clue that the operation was not serious. What happened? What my mind lands on almost immediately is Kate's esophagus, and in particular, a small ring right above her stomach. This gave me a big clue. When I searched for typical esophagus problems that would require an operation, I landed on this at the American Cancer Society esophagectomy, surgery to remove some or most of the esophagus. If the cancer has not yet spread far, removing the esophagus and nearby lymph nodes may cure the cancer, it says. Unfortunately, most are not found early enough for doctors to cure them with surgery. So this is one possible reason that Kate was sent to the hospital. But as I said, it is likely that she'll heal nicely as I do see her in good health for at least a few months. But watch out. Over time, I can see that she'll be facing another health scare, and it could be breast cancer. This is not small, but could be a major problem. But as we know, breast cancer is very treatable if caught early. Moving on to Kate's relationship with her husband, William. What does she really think of him? The couple met while they were students. Although the pair started out as pals, Kate is said to have really caught William's eye after she modeled a see-through dress during a college fashion show. I mean, just check out this dude's expression. Kind of creepy if you ask me. But of course, Kate would have noticed this and was delighted. What is not publicly known is that right after this show, William privately passed off a lurid note to Kate through a curly, dark-haired friend of his who was to be trusted. However, Kate did not react well to the note. She was insulted, and she shared it with one of her best friends who was outraged. And of course, Kate did not follow through with William's invitation. But I have to say, it is clear that many of William's decisions are driven by what's in his pants and certainly not by what's in his heart. And yes, this is just the tip of the iceberg, which I'll be revealing in my upcoming video on William. After this, Kate really had mixed feelings about William. It was not love at first sight anymore. And I give her credit for second guessing whether she would even want to have anything to do with him. However, it was her friends who encouraged her to go after William, contrary to her own intuition. William was obviously drawn to her and would have been caught more than once staring in her direction. And to her surprise, the two really got along well in public, so she went along with it, despite her underlying skepticism of this man. Honestly, he smiles and poses well and knows how to play the game just like his father, but he was and still is quite cold and distant. If she were one of my clients, I would have warned her about this and encouraged her to consider the alternatives. 
If you watch my piece on the Beckhams, you know that I can look at alternative choices and paths in life. And to be truthful, I could see her with a blonde, handsome man who would have loved her dearly. She would have had a life filled with beauty, nature, and another healthy family with one beautiful boy and a girl. Of course, we'll never know the truth. But suffice it to say, she had choices, I can assure you, and they were all good, because she's basically a good person. However, she chose to go for it and snagged an engagement ring from Prince William. William and Kate were married in 2011, and she gave birth to her first child, Prince George, two years later. Right out of the gate, Kate was iced out by her husband. But this was not what Kate had expected after marriage by any means. As a matter of fact, right after the couple was married, I remember looking at Kate's thoughts and hearing, Oh my God, he's just like his father. Sure, William showed up to produce his heirs and two spares, and she did her royal duty too, just like her mother-in-law, Princess Diana. And like her husband, she knew how to pose for the cameras with the biggest smiles imaginable. When they were together in this way, they were and still are a dynamic duo. With each new child, Kate hoped that William would take more of an interest in her and his family, but he didn't. He always had better things to do and other women to see. About five years into their marriage, it looks like Kate realized this, and I can see her fuming mad. I wouldn't be surprised if she even struck him in a heated argument. For a woman who had to swallow a lot of crap from this guy, she must have been boiling mad at that point to hit him. But he isn't the type to strike back. He would simply flip a table, slam the door, and leave. Honestly, as I'm writing this prediction, I'm very shocked to see what is coming out. I mean, these two individuals can barely tolerate each other. But as was the case in their younger years, they know how to cooperate in public and present a glowing image. One of the areas where they really learn to cooperate is in their mutual hatred of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan. Right from the beginning, the two of them formed a mini hive mind kind of loathing for the two. Prince William has been so intent on tripping up his younger brother right from the get-go. Typical sibling rivalry, some might say, but this is on steroids. I won't go much further into the dynamic between Kate and Meghan here, as I have a whole video on the subject in the royal playlist titled, Hate at First Sight. The bottom line is that this marriage looks great on paper, as they say, but is a living nightmare for Kate in real life, and it is certainly manifesting her ill health. But she's risen to the occasion once again and is exceeding royal expectations. What I hate to see is that for all her hard work and sacrifice, William will ultimately cast her aside in just a couple years, as I outlined previously. If Prince William were to throw shade Kate's way as a means to justify filing for divorce in the same way that the palace threw Princess Diana under the bus, he's got another thing coming. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more prediction videos like this one, including an upcoming deep dive into Prince William and Queen Camilla. And I'll be posting more on the future of the monarchy from the perspective of the British people. In the meantime, if you'd like a sneak peek into your own future, visit psychicadvicechat.com to schedule an affordable reading with me via chat or phone. Thanks for joining me.